T-minus 50 seconds. We're now transferring the shuttle's internal electricity. Endeavour is now being powered by its three onboard fuel cells. We're coming up on auto sequence start. T-minus 31 seconds and counting. Endeavour's five main onboard computers now have primary control of all the spacecraft's critical functions, including control of the countdown from here on out. T-minus 16 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. For T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have to go from ready to start. 2, 1, Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Endeavour copies, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, ten seconds in the flight. Endeavour flying at 1,800 miles per hour, ten miles in altitude, eleven and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter toward space. Endeavour performance is as expected thus far. Two minutes, 19 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 3,700 miles per hour, 35 miles in altitude, and 49 miles downrange. Seven minutes, eight seconds into the flight, Endeavour can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail, however, all three still performing well. Endeavour is now at an altitude of 64 statute miles, 606 miles downrange. The three main engines are now throttling down to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it passes or approaches loads near three times gravity. Seven minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Eight minutes, ten seconds into the flight, Endeavour continuing on track, all systems performing well. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. Endeavour Houston, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. Copy, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. 
And the external tank has separated now. Nine minutes into the flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on STS-130, the crew will be preparing for handheld photography of that external tank with a plus X maneuver of the orbiter to position Endeavour correctly. Mission Specialists Bob Bankin and Kay Heyer are quickly getting ready to capture that imagery. This is a view from a heads-up display and now Endeavour in view at the uh, shuttle landing facility. One minute to touchdown. Endeavour at 5,000 feet. Endeavour's descent rate is 20 times higher and 7 times steeper than a commercial airliner on this final approach. 30 seconds to touchdown. Main gear touchdown. The landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Terry Burt's deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Endeavour rolling out on runway 15 at Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission. Endeavour has completed its 24th mission and the 130th space shuttle mission. It was the 32nd to the International Space Station overall, Endeavour's 10th trip to the complex. Roger, wheel stop, Endeavour, welcome home. Congratulations to you and the crew on an outstanding mission. Installing the tranquility node and opening up the cupola's windows to the world. Well, Houston, it's great to be home, but it was a great adventure. We copy uh, Zambo, there are no immediate post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 of the entry checklist. 